Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I am Beauty Heathen, and my channel is dedicated to three things. The first is I do educational content through the medium of cosmetics. The second is I do magical demonstrations, and the third is I do readings of various sorts and varieties. <clears throat> For the most part, this month, this week, I should say, I've been trying to lighten it up a bit because I've been deep diving a lot into very serious subjects that quite honestly at the end of the day have been starting to weigh on my mental health as a result because of how passionate I am about them. But today I was drawn to do another reading involving the Unsolved Mysteries show on Netflix. And there's two more cases, because I'm not going to dive into the UFO one. I'm sorry, if that's something that you're looking for, that's not what I'm going to do on my channel. One, it happened in my state, and two, I just, yeah. I don't really, I'm not saying I believe it or I disbelieve it at all. To me, it just, it is what it is and their perceptions are what they are. But there are two more murder slash missing person cases that still need to be looked at. And the first one I'm going to go into is the one that occurred in France. And you'll have to forgive me. I am not going to try to pronounce the family's name. I know that the father is, or was a count in some way. If you haven't seen the episode, and I'll put the family's name up on the screen. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I will likely butcher it and I don't want to offend people. I don't care about just Lane Maxwell, but I don't want to offend um, the people connected, the families, and um, anyone who cared about this family in particular. Um, I'm also... I'm not calling on the spirits of the loved ones who passed away. One, because they speak French. And I don't know, I've never attempted to call upon spirits who spoke a language other than English, although I don't know if all of them spoke English as well. I don't know enough about them. All I know is what I saw in the episode. So instead, I will be trying the pendulum, but calling on the higher powers to try to answer the question and discern the information. Because that, I think, will still work in the same way. We'll find out. Um, and then after the pendulum part, I will go into the actual reading part. As always, this deck I shuffled off camera because it can take a while for it to get there. Any other decks that I will use on camera will be shuffled live. Let me grab that one just in case. So, I have no idea what order these cards are in. And to ensure that it's, I can confirm that, you get to watch me shuffle them while on camera. I wanna make sure that they're well shuffled. So there's no question as if you, this is the first time you've tuned in 
to one of my readings like this, you might want to check out some of the others I've done. I'll either link them in this video or down below in the description so that you can access them. One of these cards says yes, one of them says no, and the other one says reconsider. And what I'm going to do to ensure that there is no bias at all when I ask these questions, I'm keeping them face down. I have written down a few questions, not a lot of them. Um, and however the pendulum swings, I will note down the card that it indicates for that answer. After I'm done asking all of the questions, I will then ask the pendulum which card it used to indicate yes and which card it indicated no towards. Because sometimes no matter what is actually written on the card, sometimes the pendulum has its own mindset and it does what it wants to do. But I don't want to know which card is which live, so I will not ask that before I ask the questions. And this is not a real pendulum per se. I just put a ring on some yarn because you can literally make a pendulum out of anything. Now, I did get something that I want to try to use at some point because I want to make sure that this pendulum swings as little as possible because I'm holding it and you know you hold still as much as you can but even with that sometimes you do small arm movements or something like that and it's just one of those things where it's like anything I can do to try to prevent and make sure that um I'm not affecting it as much as possible I'll try um, right now I'm going to try to brace the hand that's holding the pendulum with my other hand to try to keep it as steady as possible. And I'm letting the pendulum stop swinging. Okay. Did the father slash husband murder his family and the dogs? Indicating the second card. Okay. Did he act alone? Yeah, it's got a very light movement heading towards the first card. Is he alive? It's 
second card. Sorry, I'll try to move it a little bit further into the frame. And try moving these back a little bit. And question. Is he in South America? Is he in a Spanish language country? I know this would probably be stronger energy if I were calling on his family, but I just, something's telling me not to do that tonight, so. All right, I have three more questions. Actually, I have four. Hold still. I didn't ask the question yet. Stop swinging. Did he take his own life? It's very subtly swinging towards the first card. Is he involved in drug cartels? Second card. Is he involved in organized crime at all? Second card. Let me try asking something more specific. Is he involved in drugs at all? Second card. Hold still. Is he sorry for taking the lives of his family? 
does he have any regret? Card one. Okay, so now let me ask it. Which card indicates no? Subtly moving towards one. Okay. Which card indicates yes? Card two. Okay. So, according to powers that be, um, he murdered his family. He did not act alone. He did not take his own life. He is alive. He is in South America. He is in a Spanish-speaking country. Um, he's involved in drugs and some sort of organized crime slash in a cartel ring, and he's not sorry for taking their lives. Now, let's see. I See, this is what I mean about the pendulum having its own mindset. Because it indicated towards the middle card for yes and this card for no. And yet, yes is here and no is there. This is why you always ask your pendulum what it is saying and what it means. Okay. So. Let us try to discern... What happened um, and what may happen with this case? Keep in mind, I know I didn't say it at the beginning, but up at the top, everything is all alleged. For entertainment purposes only, nothing in this is a replacement for legal investigation, prosecution, anything of that nature. It's just reading. Um... Actually, do I want to... Let me try these first before I delve into the other deck. Please give me word affiliations for the man who allegedly killed, murdered his family and their two dogs. Goodbye. Oh, that's a wonderful start. Please make it obvious. Unfair, truthful, success. Keep in mind that even positive words can have negative connotations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Success again. Is he innocent or guilty? his family.
pop out any day now. <laughs> Wrong. Goodbye, guilty. Well, okay then. So we have two goodbyes. I get the sense from this man that he is very much not remorseful at all for this. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of the reading since we now have the word affiliation with regards to whether he did it or not. And see what information we were able to get. Why did I know it was going to start with that fucking card? <sighs> yep. Son of a bitch. All right, right off the bat, here's the deal. <sighs> when I was watching this episode, I got a strong feeling that he got into something that was not good because from what they were saying in the episode, he his businesses were failing, he was not getting any money. When his father died, the father had nothing left. And as someone who was not royalty, but nobility, um, all of that would have brought him and him especially shame. And I got the sense that he didn't want his family to know and to view him negatively because he would no longer be able to provide them with the life that they were so used to living. And rather than deal with that, rather than face it, he got, he took them out of the picture. And I found it interesting that they sent or he sent those letters to friends and family saying that they were in witness protection because they were helping the DEA in America and all that stuff. I think he is involved in shady dealings. Um... And involved in um, with drug cartels to try to get money. I think he mixed a little bit of the truth in with those letters, but did so in a way to make him seem like the hero rather than the villain that he actually is, allegedly. Um, do not get the sense that he is dead at all. Definitely get the sense that he was either smuggled or in some way able to leave France and go to a South American country, much the way that the people who were interviewed on the Unsolved Mysteries episode said that they um had a feeling that he was and he has gone underground for a bit to change his looks change his appearance to um let a lot of the heat blow over 
I do get the sense that he may have gone through some sort of surgery, cosmetic surgery of some sort in order for his appearance to be hidden. I get the feeling like he may be considered an asset to the cartel in some way because of the connections he has over his power or anything of that nature because he's broke. So I get the sense he sees this as a mutually beneficial relationship because he wants money, they want power, he has the connections that would allow him to help them with their enterprise. New beginnings, choose wisely, waiting game. Yeah, a lot of this is like being in hiding, prosperity begins, deception, envy, putting on a facade to the people around him, positive movement forward, base chakra, sexuality. He may even be involved in human trafficking in some way. Uh, movement choices, decisions, victory and success, getting what he wants. Throat chakra. Interestingly enough, how the throat chakra falls underneath the, se the deception and envy card. I get the very strong sense that he is able to manipulate people very well with the words that he speaks. He's very manipulative. He's very charismatic. He's very, um, he's very much able to spin a web of lies and have people believe him. Hope. Material harvest. Wisdom. Power. Heart chakra. You may have a girlfriend. Triumphant success. Accelerated motion. Universe. Emotional loss. Emotional withdrawal. Interesting. Fertility. Birth of new ideas. I wonder if he does have a girlfriend if she doesn't get pregnant. Rejoice in celebration. Chance to start over. Trapped in fear. I get this is coming about because of the Unsolved Mysteries episode. Now his case and who he, he is has been put on a global display. Harmony, spiritual strength, change your ground. He's gonna keep trying to go on with the facade, um, making deals, intuition. It seems like he has a pretty decent business sense, which is weird considering his businesses didn't really do very well, but I get the sense that his business mentality applies well to this underground stuff that he's getting into. Of course, temptation, why am I not surprised? Patience and planning, heartache and loss, passion ignited. Authority, ooh, interesting. Rest and rejuvenate. Light. That is very interesting. I wonder if local authorities are going to set up some sort of sting operation or something in order to find this guy I think 
by and large, they care less about the cartel. They care less about the drugs. They care less about the human trafficking and all that kind of stuff. I sense a lot of corruption. But I get the strong sense that this guy's presence is going to become a threat to the enterprise that he's involved in. And I get the sense that they may very well do something to set him up to get found and turned in. Because here we see authority, which is most often my card for court rest and rejuvenate. Can, I got the sense when that came out. Has to do with being rested, light, things coming to light, love begins. Um, I'm getting the sense of uh, cooperation between the government of where he is and the French government and sending him back to France. Yep. Partnerships and alliances. Crown chakra, intuition, sacral chakra, sexuality, triumph, disruption, intuition, firm foundation, patience, and solar plexus chakra. Self-confidence, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Let me go to the next deck. I do get the sense of a girlfriend and pregnant pregnancy. I'm not sure if he knows about it or will know about it. I think this is the last deck I'm going to use for tonight just to try to find out what, if anything, is going to happen legally wise considering um, I did the pendulum and I did the word association. So we've kind of delved into his motivations already. I was potentially going to do the dark goddess deck, but I think it would just be redundant. Now I am planning on Friday to do the other case that's left. And I found out today that the, not necessarily season two, but volume two of this on Netflix is coming out October 18th. So I will definitely Whatever those cases are, delve into those as well when they come out. Sense that this may be a lot Yep, yeah, I felt that stop. Okay, so we 
you have to say about the case? Get curious. Yep. Someone local to where he is is going to get nosy and see him revolutionary going against the grain, turning him in. Higher perspective. Uh, legal. Maybe even government. Getting into it. Versatility. Getting creative. Um, death. Hmm. Explore. That may be something that they're weighing as an option. Connect to heart. The outlaw. The magi. Shadow. See him going deeper down underground. The wildling. Rebelling against things. Nature. Compassion. Possibly playing on the compassion and the connect to heart. Maybe the girlfriend to try to get him out of there. Seeker. Being hunted. Reflect. Pillar. This is my number one card for the justice system. And it may very well be that he only sees two ways out of this situation. Either they are going to take him out or he turns himself into the legal system. Underworld. Weaver. Destruction. Oh, Jesus. Trust. Hang on a second. What the hell just happened here? Someone in the cartel may not want to give him up. Like, his mind and his sense with this thing that he may be getting into just does not... It's like he's making them so successful that they really don't want... To lose him and that death could definitely mean a rebirth it could even indicate that you know changing his identity um paying off local authorities to look the other way release void Alchemist, Paradox, don't know what to do, Power. <sighs> I think it's going to come down to there's too much pressure because of everything. Sacred Sexuality, Reclaim, The Warrior, Take a Risk, Speak Truth, yeah, some... There's someone who does not want to let this go, and there's someone, potentially locally, that if they recognize him, they are not going to drop it. They are not going to let it go, and it may come about that they tip off the French authorities, and that's how things start to take more action. Surrender. Giving up. Share wisdom, manifest, ask body, fate. And 
ancestors play ascension okay he may not mm. Mm -mm -mm. yeah he may not end up keeping his life he may just end up being too much of a liability in this situation because this case was made so public and global attention is on it. So there's one of two ways, either he ends up dead or he ends up extradited to France for pr prosecution. The weird part is I see more him being extradited because I see like paparazzi taking photos of him and things of that nature. Could even very well be depending on how well connected the cartel is may be um, with the judicial system in France that they could take him out in jail. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll have to see how this one plays out. It seems like there's many different paths that are still up in the air. People haven't fully decided on which way to go. And that is going to end up determining a lot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as you possibly can with given the subject matter. And if you have any questions, concerns, need me to clarify something, if you have any requests for any videos, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. And I will do whatever I can to try to fulfill those requests. So. With all that said, I wish you all the brightest of blessings and blessed be.